as the name implies, the transition zone is that area of the court where we're changing or transitioning from one style of play to another style of play. It asks more out of players, I think, than any other area on the court, and I'm going to try and describe it to you. I'm going to try and bring up about four topics that I think are pretty highly related and will hopefully help explain the area. So we'll deal with it in terms of number one is what I'm going to call this decision. I'll explain in a minute. Um, number two is going to be the direction you hit the shot. Down there. Number three is going to be the pace of the shot. And we'll say number four is going to be the depth. Okay. So we'll come down here to the court. We will say you've been playing, uh, working a point from the neutral area, been hitting a lot of good deep shots, and so now you're presented with this, this short ball. So it brings you up into this area. Now, in the video that I used to sort of um, introduce the neutral zone, I put some lines. I put them about right from here to about right here. That's kind of where it is, but really it's any area that you're making this transition. So if you're able to make the transition from here, then that would be your transition zone. And if you're not able to make it till up here, then this would be your transition area. But for our purposes, we'll say it's right around in here now. So you get this ball, you move up, okay, to this position here, and you're going to play that ball, and now what? Well, first of all, before you even get there, we have made a decision. And that decision is, what kind of a player am I? Am I a guy who sets myself up with an approach shot, or am I a guy from, who goes from winners from here? If you're the guy who sets yourself up for pro shot, this transition is where you would hit the shot to set yourself up for volley, and you would change your grip, change your thinking, get up into this offensive area. What direction are we going to hit this shot? Well, we talked about in the neutral zone that if we wanted to keep neutral, we kept the ball diagonally opposite us across court. In the transition zone, we're shifting over to offense, and the direction we want the ball to be in offense is in front of us. Neutral, diagonally opposite. Offense, we want to keep that ball in front of us. And I'll show you why. So let's say we come up here. You hit the ball down the line like this. Opponent's over there to play the ball. We will uh, put him in red or her in red. And they're presented with, they can do this to you. They can hit that shot. They can hit that shot. Again, we have this triangle, which represents the possible angles of reply. You come into volley, and you're hoping to get right about here. Why here? Well, first of all, it's about halfway in between here and here. So we've got that covered. Second of all, we can't get too close to the net. We're going to get lobbed. We can't be too far back. Oh, we won't be able to. We'll, everything will be at our feet. So we put ourselves in a position where we can cover the lob in a step, and I can close off the net in a step. Okay, that's our goal right there. So it's a pretty straight line. The ball, I hit this ball out in front of me. I follow this point over here, and I move up to that spot there. Not much distance to travel. Let's look at what would happen if I hit a cross court. Let's go down to a clean court here. So I was up in this position roughly right here. I hit that ball cross court like this. And here's our possibles here. Triangle again, and now you can see my volley position would be here, roughly. It's a dis further distance to travel. Halfway in between, we gotta get over here. You can see it's a further, greater distance to travel. I'm not gonna have the time to get it. Furthermore, my opponent knows that I gotta break over here, and as I'm moving this way, this is open. And going back to our number one rule of movement, which I'm sure you have all committed to memory now, is we cannot be moving when our opponent is striking the ball. This is too great of a distance. So if I'm going this way, this had better be a winner. This goes back to our guy over here who decided that he's not a volleyer. He goes from winners up in this area. How hard should I hit this ball? 
Well, I hope this is really obvious to you now. The harder I hit it, the further away from the net I'm going to be when I volley. So if I hit the ball really hard, I'm not going to get to here. I'm going to get to about right here. That's not going to cut it. If I hit the ball too soft, well, they're going to have too much time to hit the shot. So I'm looking for this happy medium that puts some pressure on my opponent but gets me into good volley position. And next is the depth. And I think this is a real key concept to tying it all together. Depth is really important when it comes to approach shots. Getting it near the sideline is not. I can't tell you how many times I see people take their chances over here near the sideline, but not near the baseline. If you're going to take a chance, miss it deep. There is no difference to your opponent having to move an extra foot or something like this to get this ball, and it actually just makes the angles greater against you, but there is a big difference between pushing them back a foot or two. Because as they get deeper in the court, you can see that the angles they can use against you narrow, the ball's in the air longer, which gives you more time to move on it, and it sets you up for just altogether a better <laughs> offensive experience to keep that ball deep. I really wouldn't monkey with the sidelines. And if I was going to take any chances, I'd be happy with missing deep. I would be not happy with missing wide. You can see how much this asks out of a player. All these decisions that have to be made. Some of them in advance and sort of accepting who you are as a player. And some of them on the fly. Knowing how hard I need to hit this ball to set everything up the way I want it to be. The, I'm going to say almost, it's almost... Um, a rule that every time somebody comes to me and says, hey, Tim, my, my volley is struggling. I'm not doing very well up in here. It's actually not the volley. It's how they're getting themselves into this position that really makes a difference. So it takes a lot of practice in here. It takes a lot of forethought and thinking. And it's an area that needs to be handled with, um, with a lot of care, a lot of practice. It's going to sort of determine your, your effectiveness in this offensive area, it really it really makes a different player altogether. Somebody who's good in here is very tough to beat. People back people who are good back in here and can't make this transition, they're really not that scary. But somebody who can make this transition and hurt you, it's a very scary player because then you really have to worry about keeping that ball deep.